welcome to my new moon reading this new moon is in Scorpio and it will be opposing Uranus so this is a little bit of a wild card this new moon and in the cards we have all and everything we have Mercury we have passion and Beltane and as extra cards we also have Ereshkigal and Uranus and to me, the message of the cards are actually really beautiful because it is talking about becoming more alive through this new moon, feeling more your passion of life, allowing to be new, to be different. I mean, we are now in Scorpio season. In the Northern Hemisphere, everything is dying. It is cold, it is dark. But nevertheless, this new moon is talking about a new life that wants to come to us, a new joy that wants to come to us and that even on all levels of our beings with all and everything we want to share it with others but we also want to share it from the lowest dimension that we hold as a being to the highest dimension that we are and that it is also an end of different levels of our existence. This new moon is inviting us to dance and to be free and to be as free as possible. With Ereshkigal and with Uranus we will be confronted with maybe our inflexibility. I mean Uranus is in Taurus and Taurus and Scorpio are fixed signs so they are not famous for being flexible but it is about flexibility and we will be confronted with areas where we have difficulties to be flexible, where we have difficulties to be free. But this new moon is inviting us to be as free as possible and the more we are able to be free, the more we will be able to enjoy yeah, this new life that wants to come to us, this new joy that wants to come to us. With Mercury there is a longing to communicate in a new way, to enjoy life in a new way, but we cannot enjoy life in a new way when we want to stay in the same same at the same time. We have to be open to change. This new moon is an invitation to change. I mean, it is also an activator for the Saturn Uranus square. And this new moon is also in a square to Saturn. So um, it is not easy for us to let go of what we think is right or what we think how things should be. But this new moon is a birth. I mean, it was already in the moons before there was a wind of change. And this wind of change was a bumpy road. It was a bumpy road of rage and of feeling hurt and feeling abandoned and feeling betrayed but it all had like the base tone of um, a change is needed and you have to yeah redefine yourself redefine yourself Uranus in Taurus on a personal level is redefining yourself and be open to what you really are and be open to the fact that you are far more sparkly, far more joyful, far more magical. With Beltane, Beltane is the card that is the day of May 1st when the elves and the fairies are dancing. So invite the fairies to come in, to be the magical being that you are. Invite that you are far more than you ever imagined. But you have to be courageous to redefine yourself and your life. And it won't be easy with the square to Saturn. It might be hard work, there might be challenges. Mars is also with the Sun and the Moon squaring Saturn. So we might be pushed, we might be pressured, we might be challenged, but it all comes down to something new wants to be born. And first and foremost it is about redefining your existence on this planet. Redefining the way you see this world, the way you see yourself and the way you see this world and the way you want to interact in this world. The square from the new moon to Saturn and this new moon is with Mars in Scorpio. So there is a tension as I said before. There is a pressure cooker. This birth won't be easy. It is hard work. It might be messy. It might be sweaty. It might be rough and tough but something beautiful is born out of that. Something magical can be born out of that. This new moon is in a trine to Neptune. So 
the stars or the advice of the stars is surrender into the process. You don't have to surrender to the others. You have to stand in your truth and Scorpio wants you to stand in your truth, but surrender into the process. And the more you surrender into the process, the less pain it will be. I mean, Venus is squaring Chiron during this new moon, so we might be a little bit afraid to be hurt again or old themes around, oh, I will be hurt anyway. This will never be changed. I will always be hurt in this world. And to let go of that and to trust the process and to trust that this new that is born is something that makes you and your life more joyful and yeah, more alive. This new moon is like a fertile soil. It is messy. It might not look like a new life, but it is. It is a very fertile soil that will bring more aliveness, more joy, more passion into your life. You have to trust the process and take care of yourself. I mean, Mars in opposition to Uranus can be accidents. You should really take care of yourself. Don't rush things. Rest enough. Don't let yourself get pushed too much. But as I said, surrender, surrender into the process and surrender that something very fertile is born right now. Something very fertile that will bring you a new and stronger life. And like my card said with Beltane, something magical that wants to be born and something magical how your life will be transformed. So trust this process trust this messy and bumpy road like like you are in a tunnel of birth it will become messy as i said it will be wild but it will be worth it more aliveness is at the end of the tunnel more life and a celebration of life and a celebration of the sensual and divine life in one Pluto is in a square to Mercury, so it is not about us manipulating this new into being new or trying to avoid things through intellectual games, but to surrender into the process, give yourself totally in. And the more you give yourself totally in, the more you become like in carried winds vessel, you are shaken around and you think you are cooked in this vessel, but out of that will emerge a lot of magic for you. So I wish you a very magical new beginning in this dark November times. Bless the moon till next time. Namaste.